For this project, I have included a cut list and more details on everything you will need for the project on my blog. I have included the link below. To start out, Dave made sure to center one of the 26 inch long 4x4s along the 34 and a half inch long 2x4. Once it was centered, he pre-drilled for screws and then applied glue, followed by attaching them together with 2 and a half inch screws. He flipped it and did the same thing on the other side. You will do this process twice as these will be the legs for either side of the table. For the top we used 2x12s. Before cutting them down to size we ran both sides through the table saw so the edges will fit nicely together. Next, we cut the 2x12s down to 57 inch lengths. We are building this table for Sarah, the cute girl you can see right there. After the 2x12s were cut, we laid them out on the workbench so we could attach the legs we had previously made. To attach them, we first pre-drilled and then used 2.5 inch screws to attach the legs to the top. We also added a 2x4 in the center for added strength. Next, Dave cut 8 4x4s down to 17 and 3 8 inches long with a 45 degree angle on either side. Once they were cut, we began attaching them to the top of the table and leg. I first measured where I wanted the 4x4 to hit on the leg to make sure all of the legs will turn out the same. I then pre-drilled for two screws on both ends. Then I attached them to the 4x4s with 4 inch screws. Once that was done, Dave and I flipped the table and repeated those same steps on the other side. Now that everything is put together, I began sanding the table down. While I was sanding, Dave added 14 inch long 4x4 braces to the underside of the table for added support. We then added stainable wood fill to all of the screw holes. So once this table is stained, the holes will be less noticeable. Dave also routed the top of the table, but if you don't have a router, sanding it to get a rounded edge can work too. Last but not least, Dave sanded the top of the table down. He started with 100 grit sandpaper and then used a 220 grit sandpaper to make sure everything was nice and smooth. 